Hi, in this video I want to showcase a game called Project Astro Dominion, and thanks to the developers at Snob Entertainment for sponsoring this early look into the game. This is a tower defense game with base building and automation elements, and that makes for a really interesting combination that really does make a lot of sense when you play the game. So far I'm 7 hours into the game, and for most games that would be enough to get kinda far, but that's not really the case for this one. This game is insanely huge, with a lot of things to do, and I barely unlocked anything yet. I can easily see myself having over 100 hours on this game. From what I played, it looks like there's 6 different towers in the game. While that may not look like much, each one of them is very unique, and there is an insane amount of upgrades you can give to them. You have to explore different planets to defend against a mysterious alien race and conquer them. After each planet, you will most likely unlock a lot of things, to do. Now for the base building and automation part of the game, arguably the most important one. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have a lot of experience with games around the automation and base building, and I was kinda lost when I started it. But the tutorials in the game and the wiki gives you all the info you need to do everything in the game. You really have to make sure you can refine all of your resources automatically with the help of drones and other things like that. You can also craft things manually, but it's usually slower than making everything automated. Now for the story of the game, it's definitely not the most important thing, but it gives you a background for what's happening in the game. In the year 2249, most resources on Earth are nearly depleted and have led to many conflicts in the past. Despite those crises, humanity made huge progress in the fields of AI, which in turn allowed for enormous advances in space travel. Scientists were even able to create a new kind of engine, which made it possible to travel faster than light. But on the downside, humans were not able to survive this way of transportation, in a last desperate attempt, and in search for new resources, the European Interstellar Resource Organization built a brand new ship, which was only controlled by an AI named Athena. Hoping that the AI can survive the jump and begin autonomous exploration and exploitation of resources, the ship is launched into an unknown future. And that's basically it for most aspects of the game. I'm really enjoying it right now, and if you liked what you saw on this video, you should consider buying it or wishlisting the game on Steam. The link is at the description of this video.